Egypt's goalkeeper Issam El Hattari becomes the oldest player to ever feature in the World Cup Finals. Egypt goalkeeper Issam El Hattari marked the historic day with a penalty save, but he couldn't stop Saudi Arabia bringing Group A to a close with a 2-1 win on Monday. Fahad Al Moulad missed his spot kick as the first half came to a close before Salman Al Faraj dispatched another four minutes later. Mohamed Salah had given Egypt an early lead, but it was a frustrating end to a frustrating fortnight for him as Salem Al Dazari won it with the last kick of the game. Both sides now bow out of the World Cup, and here are four talking points from a bizarre afternoon in Volgograd. Egypt goalkeeper Issam El Hattari marked the historic day with a penalty save, but he couldn't stop Saudi Arabia bringing Group A to a close with a 2-1 win on Monday. Fahad Al Moulad missed his spot kick as the first half came to a close before Salman Al Faraj dispatched another four minutes later. Mohamed Salah had given Egypt an early lead, but it was a frustrating end to a frustrating fortnight for him as Salem Al Dazari won it with the last kick of the game. Both sides now bow out of the World Cup, and here are four talking points from a bizarre afternoon in Volgograd. Assam El Hattari marks record-breaking game with penalty save but his joy is short-lived El Hattari is no ordinary World Cup veteran, but the ultimate World Cup veteran. The 45-year-old finally got an appearance in Russia and he was determined for it to count for more than making him the tournament's oldest ever player. His chance to become a hero came just four minutes before halftime, Jasser Al Sharani's cross hit an arm in the box and the referee pointed to the spot. Al Moulad, widely regarded as Saudi Arabia's best player, stepped up, but his stuttered run-up was far from convincing. Al Hattari showed agility beyond his years to tip the strike onto the bar before it was cleared away. The action did not stop there, though, well into stoppage time at the end of the first half, the referee gave another penalty after a challenge on Al Moulad by Ali Gabr. Wilmar Rolden made headlines for failing to award Harry Kane with a penalty for England against Tunisia, and he took over three minutes to consult with VAR on the decision. In the end, he stood by his guns, and Al Farage stepped up, Al Hattari was unable to repeat his heroics having been sent the wrong way and, after six minutes of added time, Saudi Arabia were level after Salah's opener. They did look the most likely to score after the break, with El Hattari making some good saves, and Al Dazari struck the decisive blow in the dying embers. Mohamed Salah showed his class as Egypt cut through Saudi Arabia's open defense. It didn't take long for both sides to settle into their rhythm. Saudi Arabia dominated the ball in the opening exchanges, playing with confidence in midfield, but they struggled to break through and ask questions of an Egypt side more than happy to sit tight and play on the counter-attack. Al Moulad and Al Dazari were involved early on without ever really threatening, just as had been the case against hosts Russia and Uruguay in the previous two games, and it didn't take long for their lack of potency was punished by the one player of real quality on the pitch, Salah. Once again, Saudi Arabia were living dangerously, failing to put any pressure on the ball in midfield, while playing a criminally high line. Egypt found it easy to create chances from the off with exactly the same approach, the long ball over the top unlocked the door time and time again. Warnings were not heated, and with just 22 minutes on the clock, Abdallah El Said played a lovely lofted pass that sliced through the Saudi defense, Salah has become used to quick transitions at Liverpool, and he showed no sign of nerves as he went through on goal. One deft touch was enough to set himself before he lifted the ball over Yasser Al Mosalem to give his side the lead. Moments later, he should have made it 2-0, another through ball found him after a well-timed run, but the entire stadium was left stunned as he put it wide unchallenged. Egypt winger Trezeguet then saw a shot go miss the target, Saudi Arabia were simply incapable of dealing with their pace, but it mattered little in the end. Egypt must do all they can to keep Mohamed Salah happy amid troubling reports it has not been the tournament either Mohamed Ad Salah or Egypt dreamed of in the months building up to it, the injury he picked up in the Champions League final has marred their time in Russia. Reports suggest that Salah, the man who scored the crucial penalty against Congo to secure their place in October, is considering retirement from international football over a row with the Egyptian FA.
Relations turned frosty over sponsorship in the months leading up to the World Cup and weren't helped by his belief he was being used for political gain by administrators. The first team sheet released before the game even suggested he wouldn't be playing. He did, and, fortunately for Egypt, the speculation has died down as he showed how important he is to the country as a whole. Not only is the team built around him, but it plays in his image, too. Tresegay is a pacey winger who, despite lacking an end product, helps Egypt push up the pitch effectively when the ball is in transition, while Ramadan Sobi, the former Stoke City winger who moved to Huddersfield Town this summer, is a good impact player. They allow Salah to add the devastating finishing touches, as he did again for the first goal. His teammates raised their games around him, and though things did not go according to plan in the second half, he is absolutely vital to their future, as they look to win their first African Cup of Nations in almost a decade next year Saudi Arabia can build something under Juan Antonio Pizzi hired last year as a replacement for Dutchman Bert van Marwijk, the current Australia boss Juan Antonio Pizzi has already made his mark on Saudi Arabian football. Having overseen Chile's failed qualification bid, the Argentine took the reins in Russia and speculation suggests he will be leaving at the conclusion of the campaign, despite he himself wanting to stay. The confidence he has instilled in the team suggests a bright future, they play a lot like Chile did, but with a huge gulf in quality. Saudi Arabia should be given great credit for staying true to their principles in the face of a clearly superior level this summer, and Pete Z deserves the chance to build something long-term if he so pleases.